Welcome to the Chief Architect Quick Tip. Today we'll be covering a walkthrough within Chief Architect Premiere. So I have already created a walkthrough. I'm just going to show you a little bit here. We have control over the camera speed, over all of the camera directions, um, and then we can also get into tilting uh, the camera and so forth. So let's get into the program and get going with our recording. I'm going to be working within the modern bungalow sample plan that we have available on the website. And let's get into our preferences first. We have control over the render options. So you are able to specify how that camera will display. And for our walkthrough, we want to make sure that we're using the XVID. Uh, we recommend this Kodak option. If you don't have it in your dropdown, just search for XVID through Google and you can download that. So once you have your settings, we can get right into our 3D dropdown and into the walkthrough tool. So let's create our walkthrough path. This will be using our spline line. So when we click and drag, it will create a line. And as we drop in more cameras, it's going to automatically curve that. So I'm just going to bring this right into our design. Just drop in a few camera points here to create our spline. And once we hit and snap up to our stairs, it will automatically bring us right up the staircase onto the second story. So I'll go up to the second floor, click on that camera, and then just continue and drag out a bit. And that will continue our camera. Let's drop in a few and get into our master bedroom here. All right, so we have our line created. I want to edit this a little bit. So let's go down to our first floor. We're walking into a doorway, so let's address our doorway first. I need to make sure that this is open in our 3D view. Select that door down in our editing toolbar. Select show door open in 3D. And then we can select our, our triangle tool and just drag that out. So I would like to add additional keyframes um, onto this line so we can have additional speed and so forth um, as we record. So I'm going to select our line and that will highlight our walkthrough giving us additional tools at the bottom here. Let's add some more keyframes. So with a single click I can drop on additional cameras here and this will give us control over our speed, over that angle, where we're looking. Um, and I like to add quite a few around corners so it's pretty smooth here. And we'll add some up our staircase. Maybe another one here. And then go up to the second story. Select our line. Drop on a few more. We're going to tilt it down so we can see that open below area. So we'll be really close to our railing here. And then maybe one right there. So now we have all of our different segments, the keyframes positioned. So let's control these. Back to our first floor. I'm going to select our spline walkthrough path and open that up to control the different keyframes. And we'll have the entire walkthrough options here as well. So we have control over that camera angle and the height. We can keep it relative to the path that we have drawn, or we can change that to absolute. So when we change our camera angles to a specific degree, it will keep those as an absolute instead of relative to the path. So I'll be using the absolute today. And I'm going to get into our different keyframe options. We have control over our speed. So let's slow down this one, um, maybe to one. So when we're going around corners or we want to focus on an area, you can control that speed and drop that down. And for the camera angle, uh, maybe let's change that to 120. And we don't need to change the tilt on this, but we will when we get to our stairs and the height looks good at 60. 
So you can just work your way through all of the different frames that you have here. And let's change that to 180. Camera 4 will do 180 as well and slow that down even more as we come to a corner. And we'll change that to 0.5 and have that at that same angle. Looks fine. And as we reach our staircase, um, I want to decrease the speed maybe down to 1. Um, change that angle. We'll do 0. So it's facing directly up the stairs. And then I want to add a tilt. Let's do um, maybe 30 degrees up the stairs. And then we can continue working through all of our different cameras here. And we'll do this last one here at 270. Select OK. And we'll see all of the different cameras adjust. You can also select an individual camera and move it along the path. You'll be able to see how that will follow the path at that certain angle that we specified. You can also go down to your editing toolbar and add additional breaks. So I'm going to place a break in our line right there. So when we select the line, we'll have additional breaks so we can modify that even further if we wanted to control that line. So feel free, great tools to modify that path and each individual camera. So now let's record our walkthrough. I'm going to go down to our editing toolbar again and select record walkthrough along path. It will let us know that for best results to um, leave the computer, don't do anything else while you're recording, and you can also hit escape if you need to cancel. So let's save this as walkthrough one. And it will save as an AVI file. Then we have some more controls. So our default frame rate is 15 frames per second. You can also change your duration and the compression. So um, I typically stick with the defaults until I'm certain I like the path that I have in the camera controls. Uh, once you're happy with all of the specifications, I increase this, so we'll want to have more frames per second. Um, I like 30, that works pretty well. And then we're going to lower our compression. So having a lower compression increases the quality as well. So increase frames and decrease compression. Then you can also change to an artistic rendering if you'd like to. I'll stick with standard and select OK. So this will start processing the path and working with our 3D standard view and start recording. So down in the left hand corner you'll see that it's recording the walkthrough and it's going to take into consideration all of the specifications that we have placed along our walkthrough path. So now that we have our recording going, um, I'm just going to show you the final result. So here's the walkthrough I created earlier, and it will just follow our path and curve around. It'll slow down for us and follow the path that we've created and just slide across at the 180 degree angles that we had. Move around. So of course you'll just want to have it slow as you go around the corners. Tilt up as we're walking upstairs and it will start turning on the lights as we enter new spaces. And I uh, created this with um, additional tilt options once we hit the top. So we could look down in our opening here. So you can tilt up or down however you'd like to. And then walk right into the master bedroom. So since it saves as an AVI file, it's really easy to share, put on YouTube. Uh, you can also just pl place it on your website and so forth. You can also visit our website for additional help resources. 
across the top we'll have the search area so you can just type in walkthrough and additional resources will come up for you so how to make a walkthrough composed with final views using the walkthrough path and so forth so um, great options to get additional resources through the help database or through the training videos, um, same thing, just type that in and additional training options will pop up for you so you can learn even more details. Thank you for watching today's quick tip. Check out chiefarchitect.com for additional resources or give us a call. Have a great day.